Hey everybody, my name is Corian, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Sabre 37 FBT. This is a beautiful front bathroom floor plan. It also has a king bed, half bathroom, big storage loft over that half bathroom. You have a mid living setup downstairs and a big kitchen. So let's get into it. Starting in the front of the 37 FBT, the star of the show is really that his and hers vanity with the three medicine cabinets, two sinks, lots of countertop space, storage down below and you have a big wardrobe up front for storage with the barn doors and right next to it is going to be your washer dryer prep so I'm going to open these up and you'll see there's room in there for a stackable system or you can just use it for storage over to the left is that big tall shower and then you go right on into the king bedroom so you got a big king bed there. At the end is a little bit of storage, TV backer, all your hookups. And this is an easy to miss part. If you open this up, that's a huge storage area. So you have a ton of room in there to fit stuff. I'll take you downstairs. You go in the half bathroom down here. So you get Lots of linen storage, good sized sink, window for some natural light, and you have your porcelain toilet down below. I'll take a quick stop right here. Thermostat for your 15K ACs. We always do 15K ACs on our savers. If there's one, it'll be a 15. If you have two, you have 30,000 BTUs of AC. You also have a voltage meter for the juice pack option that's on here. That is a 50 watt roof mounted solar panel a 12 volt deep cycle battery from the factory, that voltage meter and a charge controller. So that's gonna charge it up. I'm running all of my lights today for this video off of that juice pack system. It works great for that. You have the LCI one control system right here. That controls all of your light slides, awnings. Then you have your light switches, tanks for your water heater and your water pump, as well as some gauges to see where your black, gray and fresh are at. Down in the main living area, there's a lot going on. You've got one, two, count them, three sofas. You're gonna be able to entertain a lot of people in here. Two of those sofas are trifold sofas. So you're gonna be able to sleep up to four people, run them to that half bathroom real easy. You don't have to wake people up, go all the way up front. You have big TV, 5,000 BTU fireplace. that will heat this whole area off electricity if you're hooked up. Your entertainment center that's hooked up to that subwoofer up above there. So you have a nice boom when you're listening to movies or listening to music. Ceiling fan, nice storage. Behind this trifold sofa is our zebra shades. So you'll see the one on the right is blacking out that sun so I can get a real nice video. While these ones, they're letting in a little bit of light. So you can adjust these, play with them as you like, let in as much or as little light as you want. Now I've got both those sleeper sofas pulled out to give you an idea of what that's gonna look like when you've got it in sleeping mode. You'll see that they're both pretty big. You can fit two adults on there and there's enough room in the middle to walk people through still. Last but not least is gonna be your big, beautiful chef kitchen back here. Before I get into that, I'm gonna show you the four person dinette before you walk in over here. That's where you're gonna be having some meals if it's rainy outside. You have your nice big pantry. Lots of dry goods storage, big microwave, oven, stove top, all your storage down below, lots of countertop space over there, solid surface countertop covers for the sink, big farm style sink so it's real deep. And then last but not least, you've got a big fridge of two freezer drawers and a lot of room for regular cold storage, a little bit of extra storage up above. On the exterior of the 37 FBT, up front you'll see we have the spare tire housed in the front compartment as well as space for two batteries and the inverter. There's also controls for your auto leveling system and docking lights up here. Heading on to the side, you have your full outside kitchen, a little small fridge as well as water hookups and LP quick connect for a grill. Your front storage compartment is really wide, really deep. You have a light in there to see stuff at night. Leash latch on the side for the pets. A fully heated and enclosed underbelly. 
7,000 pound axles as well as a fully welded I-beam frame. You see your Moride steps that lead up to your entry door. And here you'll see the rack and pinion slide system that we use. We never use cable slides, always rack and pinion or Schwintec on small sofa slides. Then at the rear of the coach, you're going to have a hitch as well as a rear ladder. Both are rated for 300 pounds of weight. That ladder to get up to your fully walkable roof. You also have backup camera prep and 50 amp service that's standard over here on all of the Sabres. We also fully vacuum bond all of our slide walls and slide boxes. They're also two inches thick for extra insulation. Last but not least, you'll see your 10 gallon water heater over here. This first area where you can have access to your all-in-one docking station, a little extra storage. And then the second is access to your full pass-through storage area.